Hey Solus, Agent Solo Matt Rice here. Another Kickstarter has arrived at the door. Mercurial, the deluxe edition. I think it was the Frontiersman um, pledge I did. So this is the deluxe edition with the stretch goals on the side. I didn't go for the play mat, um, but I just want to show you an unboxing um, of this game that's coming. Um, it's created by David Go, and I'm just going to show you the box. So and it came in shrink, of course. Wonderful players, 45 90 minutes. Beautiful art artwork on the sides. Cool. And on the back here, look at this Mercurial. Welcome to Valnir, an otherworldly land home to devastation, unstable magics, and now you. A mage tasked with exploring this strange new frontier. Rediscover your affinity for magic as you learn alteration techniques to control the elements. Home your talents as you forge new spells from ancient power and emerge as a force as you perform breathtaking heroic deeds. Is that control of a chaos in the game of dice manipulation and magic making empowered by combo and engine building mechanics which thrive on foresight and skill. All right, we've got the components listed here, which is good. Good for my audit, which I'll do later. Okay, Good Games Publishing's on this too, Hyperlixer. All right, so we've got like a sleeve here. Ooh, deluxe. Look, ooh, nice, bright. Right top of the box here. Um, I imagine it's going to be the same stuff. Just some more artwork around the side. And we saw that side. Beautiful. That looks actually quite nice. Roll elemental dice. Shape elements with alterations. Craft combined spells. Cast to perform heroic deeds. Okay, so let's have a look. This is meant to include a couple of expansions inside the deluxe set, so we'll see. We got, uh, what's this, a rule book? Set up. Nice, I love pictures. <laughs> Hopefully explains it pretty well. Obviously haven't read this yet. I'll just open this for the first time right now. I'll kind of reference solid play achievements. That's what I'll be digging into. I have to get a game of this at some point. Okay, beautiful. Okay, let's unbox this. So, what have we got here? Some reference cards. Oop, what's that? Okay, cool. Very cool. And you've got four of those for up to four players, I imagine. These the player boards, I guess. As you can see, there's a bit of a shine to these, um, which is kind of cool. It's cardboard, but nice little shine here. Um, yeah, they're a bit thicker. They're obviously not just uh, not just card cardboard themselves. Um, as I should do to measure the box, as I normally do, it's about two twenty-five by about two fifty, and the depth. Oh, this is going to be interesting. How I open it. The depth is, if you want to know, it's about 80 high, just under 80 mil. Okay, what else we've got here? Challenger expansion. I think that's part of the deluxe set. Two challenger boards, one Mr. Caller board. Let's have a look. Yeah, give me that. Ooh, that's this card, just a cool bit of artwork. Uh, what is this? A bit more artwork of the place, that's pretty cool. I think they're just a few artwork things. Let's call another board. Cool. I like the artwork in this game, it's quite... Um, I was going to say unique, I mean, it doesn't seem unique, but like it's... It's something about that, just, it pops out pretty well. I like it. Looks like there's a little... Uh, you and your fellow players can face off against one to two automated players. This is what I need for solo, I think. So I hope this is, improves your solo play. This one's a bit more in-depth rules. Cult mode. Okay, cool. Put that to the side, so keep that together. Got some tokens. Ooh, a bit shiny. 
Shiny tokens. Cool. What have you got here? You got these little token trays. Uh, don't want to break it. <laughs> Seems to be quite stuck. There we go. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, put some tokens in those. There's three of those, all, all the same size. In the insert. What have we got here? Let's go through some of these clear crystal y stuff. Plenty of those. Looks kind of cool. Okay, put that to the side. What else we got here? It's like drug bags within drug bags. Uh. Ooh, shiny. Plenty of shiny things. This is stop scratching and transfer. Ooh. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Ah! Just automatically devalued my game. <laughs> and this one sounds like a more of a plasticky one. This one. Yeah, that one feels more plastic. So maybe that's what comes in the standard edition, but the, the metally feeling one maybe is deluxe. I'm not sure. Some blue stuff. Very similar to the clear one that I just had. Okay, cool. There's a pretty cool insert in here. What have we got here? A ton of dice. Ooh, let's get a couple of sample dice. It looks like they're all the same. So we've got, we've got purple, blue, orange, whatever that is, <laughs> red, grey. Looks like they're all the same. So you roll plenty of dice in this game. Can you check it out? Can you check it out? Uh, let's go with this. I mean, there's a few different ones. Okay, so it looks like these are all the same sort of size card. Wait, no, these are these are cardboard. <laughs> First of all, are these the bad guys or something? I'm not sure. Ooh. How cool is the artwork? I love the artwork in this. score tracker or something very nice yeah now we've got some cards yeah as a side note too i did get um some sleeves with this unfortunately in the packing it's already been opened um so i haven't counted these yet but hopefully i haven't lost anything but the sleeves are coming that way that's that's my only slight gripe so far that i've seen but everything else is looking good inside the box definitely and the first pack of cards i've opened i've just turned them over these are two different type of backs that you get um, look like they're the same size, of course. Just double checking the size here. So they're about 120. Ooh, it's an interesting size. I think that's why I got the sleeves with it. About 123, 124 by, uh, by about, and they're pretty bendy, by about 70, 71, 72. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's turn them over. Have a look. Ooh. Look at the artwork on this. Like it's just like a few numbers and a symbol, but the artwork. It's like they know they want to highlight that artwork. It's pretty cool. Look like they're all pretty unique as well. All these ones are there. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. That's these backs. No, let's go through these ones. Yeah, again, highlighting the some symbology, ink iconology, which I think is in the back of the rule book as it said. These are like artifacts or something. Oh, cool. <laughs> different like elements running around them it's pretty cool that they've changed it up a little bit just for that Mm, 
Looks like all these last ones are the same though. I think. Maybe not. There's green here. Okay, cool. And these last set of cards are the same size as what I just opened before. So there. Ooh, grasping. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so there, I think there are a few duplicates, but it's still pretty cool. A different type of artwork on it. But... Yeah, it's cool artwork. Beautiful. Point out, it even has a storage guide on the side of this of the game box, so that's pretty cool. Like a, love that. That's that's definitely unique. I don't think I've seen that too often. No, I reckon pretty cool. Alrighty, guys, there you have it. That's the unboxing of Mercurial, the deluxe edition uh, from the Kickstarter. So hopefully everyone gets theirs pretty soon. Um, as a disclaimer, of course, I wasn't. I had to buy this. I didn't get paid to, to do this <laughs> at all. As usual, no one pays me. Um, but so I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, I get to do a playthrough very soon of this as well. So, so to crush your gaming first. Play solo.